This is a very interesting product. It's a water-powered emergency light. Let's take a look inside. So, okay, it doesn't just run on water. Specifically, it runs on salt water. So there's no batteries involved. You just add salt water and this will turn on. Now, they even claim that instead of mixing salt and water, you could use seawater or you can use urine which seems a bit extreme to urinate into this device but considering it's for emergency purposes that's actually what we're going to try this morning so we're not going to add any salt here we're just going to urinate straight into the emergency light well that's a little bit annoying i just contaminated this and it doesn't even work so either they're lying about this being able to run on urine or i just don't have enough salt in mine Anyway, let me pour this out and just use regular salt water. So this is regular water from the faucet mixed with salt. Just the common type of salt that you find inside your kitchen. So let's see, does it really work? Ta-da! There's your light. And we can put it into blinking mode. Which is like emergency. So, oh it actually flashes SOS. It's not blinking. You can see free long, free short, free long. Actually I see a lot of people riding along their bicycles with their flashlight or their headlight flashing SOS. I'm like, <laughs> should I stop them and ask like, are you under duress? Or are they just riding around with SOS not knowing that it's flashing SOS? Anyway, so that's what it's doing. And then you can turn it off again. Before I cut this open and show you how it works, let me turn off all the lights so you can see how much this produces. Honestly, it's not that bright. So, Maybe you could read a map. You could walk around and see where you're going, but it's not going to light a room. So this is how it looks from one arm's length. And actually it's quite a bit brighter now compared to before because the solution has had time to sit there. And looking around the room, I can actually see everything. It's not the same as having a 20 watt bulb in the middle of your room, but it is actually reasonably bright. You could definitely use this as an emergency light. I've cut this open so you can see exactly how it works. There is no battery inside. This part here is what they call a sacrificial anode because it will be consumed. So when you add the salt water, you're basically making a battery. And then this part over time will get smaller and smaller and smaller as it gets consumed to generate the electricity. The nice thing about these is that you don't really have the concern of batteries which can go flat over time or they can leak over time. These have a very, very long shelf life. But of course, the amount of power they generate is actually very small. Now, do you actually need one of these? Probably not, but it's only 250 pesos, which is a few US dollars. You throw it in your gold bag and you have an emergency light that can run on salt water. They claim it can run for up to 140 hours. Like I said, this is consumable. This will get run down and eventually you won't be able to use this anymore. There are lights on the market that have replaceable magnesium anodes. So you might want to consider that if you want something that's reusable. But honestly, if you want something that's reusable and you're in, you know, civilization, just get a USB power bank and a little LED light that plugs in. This is really only for like emergency situations or maybe you're up the mountains or something like that. But even then, a small solar panel, right? There's a lot of options. I'm not saying this is the best option. It's just an interesting technology. It's not even new technology. Even the Egyptians had salt water batteries. So this goes back a very long time. Obviously, they didn't have LEDs back then that we know of. Aliens. Hashtag. Thanks for watching.